Okay, this is a follow-up to a video I did the other day about mining Pulsar coin on Zergpool, more specifically uh, solo mining using SRB miner, CPU mining with my Ryzen 9 3900Xs. So what I did is I thought, okay, I'm hitting some blocks, I'm hitting some blocks solo mining. This is all interesting. I'm getting stuff into my wallet. And uh, I actually hit on staking. I got a reward for staking, and I'll show you that as well. So the last 24 hours, I switched to basically doing shared mining on Zergpool. Uh, yeah, Zergpool. So you can see the uh, dashboard right here. And you can see these dates down here on 327, 328. I didn't hit 327. I did hit. 329 I hit 90, 330 I hit 90, 331 I hit 90. Uh, April Fools I hit two blocks. You can see almost 180. Then I switched on April 2nd. I switched over to uh, shared mining on Zergpool. And I, I'm about, what, 107 right now, right here? Where my mousey is. Look at that. Isn't it? It's like when you shake it, it gets bigger. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, so I got 107 from doing uh, shared mining on Zergpool. What does that mean? Is it almost like saying that it's better to just do shared mining and keep a consistent mining rewards on coins? day to day or is it better to do solo mining and hopefully hit two blocks and all that stuff but if you look at this the way this breaks out is block 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 and this is two that would have went here it would have averaged out that i was getting 90 pulsar coin per day anyway if i was uh if i was share mining right I mean, that's what I think. So, but anyway, I got more than that. I got 110 right now. Ah, 107, sorry. I got 107 right now. So I'm going to let it go one more day. Tomorrow at this time, about 1,800 hours, I'll report back in and see if I did receive, I uh, did receive another 107 or 100 so Pulsar. And I think difficulty is coming down. You can see over here all of the immature blocks, about 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. They mature pretty quickly, and they get into the accounting, and then they get moved over to here on the balance and the unpaid balance. And then they'll get moved to my uh, uh, Pulsar wallet. So here's my hash rate, 445, 0.4 kilohash, shared mode, looking good. And here's my graph going up. And then there's my current hash rate. I did I take one offline? I don't remember. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was playing with GPUs, not CPUs. Okay. Uh, here's a solo. That's all the stuff that I found for blocks. Again, I've been shared mining since then. You can see how long ago those were, and you can see the payout: 90, 90, 90, 90. All right, let's jump over. Kablamo. Bum 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 bum. La, 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 la. All right. Okay, we jumped over. Here is the Pulsar wallet. Here are my peers running, my peer networks, nodes. I've got about, I don't know how many. Let's go over here and find out. I highlight this bars right here. I've got 13 active connections. That is good. So yesterday I did get on April 1st, I got a reward. You can see these are all uh, block payouts I received. You can see what I what I did get and you can go click transactions. And I was, I was actually pleased to see I got uh, my staking reward right here. Mint, um, mint by stake, Zerg pool. That is the pool I'm on and I got 90. So that was pretty cool. I was, it was nice to see that 
So I said, all right, let me try the shared mining and see what happens with that. And that is where we are right now. Let's go to the mining pool stats. It is dropping down price-wise, but also the difficulty has dro dropped down. I'm on Zerg pool. And if you look at the little bar graph here, you can see it draw. It's so minute, but it dropped well, from one two five, one one nine, one two five, one two one, one two five, one two eight. So about one two eight down to one one nine, and that's within uh, eighteen hundred hours on a Saturday today. So that is where I'm mining. I am mining. Pulsar coin to Pulsar coin, I would eventually like to switch it over to maybe Bitcoin, get Bitcoin payout and that. I'm not sure yet. I want to keep seeing that staking come in, build up a nice bag of Pulsar and then go from there. Yeah, so let's go back. Zergable. Yeah, let's see what else is hot in here. Yeah, that's an ASIC. That's Bitcoin. That's hot. Oh, we got some more stuff popping out. A lot of GPU stuff. ETC hash is hot on GPU. Equihash, Equihash, Equihash. Curve hash is Pulsar coin. I'm going to click on my ad here. I'm addicted now to clicking on Brave ads just so I get some of that basic attention token. And every time I mention that, YouTube hates me because if you use Brave browser, you don't see ads anywhere, even on YouTube videos. You'll see them embedded in YouTube videos, but... The, the, the damn ads they put on before, you won't see those at all. I swear to God. And when I go watch YouTube on my TV, I go nuts because the damn commercials pop up. And I'm not monetized. I'm just a itty-bitty YouTuber, newbie guy. Not even a YouTuber. I'm just recording what I know, what I'm learning. I in no way am no expert. I make lots of mistakes and probably could be doing things a lot more efficiently. And that's how you learn. Some guys will say, why are you overclocking your CPUs? I go, what do you mean? Well, you'll get better efficiency if you just leave them uh, default. I went, what? So uh, I did that, and things are running smoothly now. I didn't know. I thought overclocking them, getting what I was getting was fine, but I negated or failed to take into account the watts used, and I was burning more power, and it wasn't, uh, you know, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze at that point. Just run default, and you'll do fine. So little stuff like that, you just pick up. You pick up daily by being in uh, chats and stuff like that, forums, uh, discords. Yeah, stuff like that. Or you watch another YouTube guy's comment and you pick, oh, wow, yeah, maybe I should switch. And it's worked fine. So that's how you learn. No one's an expert. You, you know, Again, what I say, do your own, uh, your, your own research, doubt but verify. And an expert to me is someone that has read a book a day before me. And once I read that book, I'm just going to be on his same level anyway, right? Right. I don't know. That's, that's the meaning of expert. All right, let's go. So there's the block. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep running this in a shared mode right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that since I'm impressed with this number, this 107. So I'm going to say about 106 I got in 24 hours. And uh, we'll go from there and uh, see. Is that the graph I clicked on? So this is the last 24 hours earnings. And these are immature plus confirmed. Payouts are not shown. And this is all, yeah, this is all from uh, shared mining. So there you go. I mean, you. I know you can hit blocks, you can hit big, and uh, get huge payouts maybe, I guess. Uh, but sometimes you're sitting there idle running, and you're not getting anything, like right here this day. But then I got two, but then it averages out. And why with it average out, why not just uh, mine shared and get, not a guaranteed, but a consistent, I guess, 110, 107 pulsar a day. I don't know. That's where I'm at. I'm learning. I'm trying to figure out which, what works best and I go from there. Anyway, quick little video on this uh, pulsar mining update. I may eventually switch back once this test is done. Oh, uh, yeah, I might switch back to Raptorium. What are, what are we up to Raptorium? My mining pool of choice is Supernova and Minifacil, which has dropped a little bit. Oh, the uh, the difficulties dropped a little bit. Difficulties dropping over here. Oh, uh, Supernova, it's dropped as well. Well, man, maybe it might be time to switch back to Raptorium. Look at that. Everything's dropping off the cliff here. So 6.61 down to 5 right there on Supernova. Let's go to Minifacil. 
Oh my God, we got 203 to 139. Wow, hmm. And what was Paul Sar doing? Paul Sar is hovering about the same, dropped a little bit, like I said earlier. So I don't know, man, I might, woo. It's tempting, whenever there's a low difficulty, I'm starting to learn to switch to that coin. Because it seems like if you're chasing a coin and, and everyone's going to Avian or Raptorium or Monero Ocean to get XMR or going to Pulsar, and then the difficulty spikes, you end up losing out because you're not getting as much as you could. You kind of say, oh, well, everyone who went over there, I'm going to do the opposite and go over here to Raptorium because the hash is low, the, the difficulty is low, and I want to see if I can get more coins that way. So it might be worth a test to try that. I'm curious now to give that a shot. Yeah. All right. Something to think about. Again, this is my little brain trying to work and I get tired when I think uh, and I want to take a nap and then wake up and drink some bourbon and then make a decision. All right. Hey, that's all I got. Little little Paul Sarcoin update. Basically, uh, shared mining versus solo mining. And in my mind, I'll find out tomorrow. I will leave it shared mining until tomorrow afternoon. And if I get another hundred, I'm going to say, wow, I'm just going to keep share mining this puppy, you know, and then go from there. Hey, what do you think? Let me know what works best for you. And I think some of the big massive rig farms, they just consistently share mine the pools because it's not worth just to sit there idle hoping for a block of Bitcoin, SHA 265 or whatever. 256, what, I forget the number. Yeah, so that's where I'm thinking. Like tortoise wins, just keep doing your shared, chug away, chug away, and those coins keep stacking. That's where I'm at. I'm stacking coins. I'm not selling nothing. And eventually I want to go using Zerg pool and start getting Bitcoin payouts or Litecoin, maybe Litecoin, because Litecoin is going to go through a halvening or something next year, I forget. And I own a lot of Litecoin to my to my uh, current loss. I'm in the red on that puppy. But anyway, lots of things going on, lots of things, lots of strategies, but you don't know until you try a bunch of things to see what see which works for you. All right, I'm out, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you later once I come up with something else to talk about. I just figure as I come across these things that I think are interesting to me, I'll just put them out, put a video out. Again, I'm not monetized. I just do this to help others and maybe also get a lot of feedback from everybody out there to help me because that's how I learn. I ask questions. I post crap out there. And if someone's going to come say, no, you're doing it wrong, do this, I'll say, yes, teach me, show me the way, and I will listen. All right, take care, guys.